Well, 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 hello there. Welcome back for part three of our Moai Basics tutorial series. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the array tool inside of Moai 3D. Oh, right here. Oh, right now. Oh, let's go. The power of the tread wheel compels you. Okie dokie. You see these little pieces here on the side? You see these little sticky pieces here? These little spokes? I am going to show you how to make them. And your powers shall increase. Yeah. Make a circle. Extrude the circle into a cylinder. Chamfer the circle. <laughs> Duplicate the center face. Extrude into a solid. Select edge. Fill it. Inset solid. Scale it down. Run a boolean merge. Delete faces. <laughs> I am a modeling genius. Duplicate face. Scale it down. Extrude. Draw solid. Select sphere. Boolean union. Scale it. Inset. <laughs> My power is overwhelming. Let's go to this side view. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Center it. From the perspective view, extrude. I'll hide these so we can just look, focus on this piece we just made. Grabbing the polyline tool, I'm just going to refine the shape. Sometimes when drawing, you'll see that the line disappears until selected. That's because it's either inside the mesh or it's behind it. Doesn't It doesn't really matter where it's located, so you can move it out to a view that you can easily see. All right, so I'll use this polyline and the 3D solid and run a Boolean merge, and it will project the line through the solid. I can delete the line. I can delete this face. And let's run some fillets. And let's chamfer the edges. Now that we have this piece done, We'll unhide and bring back the rest of the model. And I will just kind of move and sneak this inside a little bit more. Now that we have this spoke created, I will show you the array tool. Over in the transform tab, you'll see the array button. Click on it and you have four options. For this example, we want to use circular, so I'll select this. And again, top right, we see information that we can follow. Pick center point. That's the center of our tread wheel. And boom, this pops in. Now the command is not finished, so up here on the top right, we can make adjustments. Right now it says item count 8. I'm going to change that to 5. Angle to fill 360, that's good. And click done. Back to the tread wheel on the tank. You can see the portion that I have highlighted now. It's the same process. I make an individual piece, array it around. And then I unioned that to another cylinder, which was trimmed out. Next, we're going to take a look at some other areas where this array tool is handy. <laughs> the sci-fi tank of the future that will crush all those who oppose it. <laughs> uh, zooming in on the flywheel, you can see where we've used uh, where I've used the array function several times. The teeth on the outside of the flywheel, I created one and arrayed them around. I even created a solid that I arrayed and then used that to boolean out these holes. And everywhere you look, you can see where this array, array tool is very, very handy. These little teeth and the gears here. And right here at the center of the tank, you can see where the array tool has been used as well to create this bolt pattern. Oh yeah, array me daddy. And the last place that I want to highlight, spot that I want to highlight for this array tool are the tank treads themselves. This is the same individual tank tread that was then replicated. But how, you know, would you copy these individually and move them and kind of try and rotate them? No. No, you wouldn't. You don't want to do that. This is what we do. Take over their minds, exert influence, dominate the world. No, what we do is we make the single tank tread like this. And then, and then we use our 2D tools to draw out the path, the shape that we want the tank treads to follow. Under the Transform tab, we select Array, and this time we want the Curve option. Select Objects to Array. That's going to be our individual tank tread that we made. Now it says Select Path Curve. That's the curve that we drew. And boom, these pop in. Now we simply need to adjust the item count. I think I used something around 56. And boom, it creates 56 copies fit around the curve. Well, would you look at that? That concludes part three of the Moai Fundamentals tutorial series. Thanks for sticking around. If you enjoyed this, if you got something out of it, please let me know. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, 
Turn on the notifications. Spread the word. Share this tutorial to everybody. World domination is only a blink away. Today, we dominate YouTube. Tomorrow, the world. Be good to each other. Be kind. And uh, enjoy your modeling. See you next time. No, 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 no. No see you next time. Watch all the videos. Put them on repeat. Let's light this candle. Ah!